If a person was uh, had, say, a head injury or a stroke, that's usually the kind of patient they use for both brain death and uh, uh, heart uh, de cardiac, cardiac death. They they leave them there and they uh, they uh, uh, take them off uh, the respirator, which helps them to breathe. If they don't, if they keep breathing for an hour, they're so anoxic by that time that they just send them back to die in the ward. They're no use. But if the heart stops breathing, uh, the heart stops beating within an hour, mm -hmm. uh, then the, they, they wait a variable length of time, two to five minutes as uh, usually. Uh, in some pediatric cases, they've waited uh, 30, uh, 65 seconds, uh, 75 seconds, and taken the hearts out. Uh, the the um, problem with that is that it is now well known that people whose heart stops beating as a result of a heart attack can, if they're cooled immediately in the hospital, their blood is cooled down with the cold saline and uh, their uh, uh, certain uh, other things are done, they can come back from being over 15 minutes without a heartbeat. They're brought back and recover. Mm -hmm. So they're certainly not dead in two to five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, and, and in these cases, of course, the fact that they've taken them off oxygen is actually part of the, the uh, cause of their death in the first instance. Uh, so that uh, both methods are illegitimate. Uh, they're not, if they're not true death, and, uh, but, but the, it's utilitarian. It's done for the purposes of, of salvaging organs. Now they're doing good to people by giving them new organs, but you're not entitled to, do, to achieve good by evil means. It's as simple as that. St. Yes. Paul mentioned it. That's right. It's that old. Yes. And uh, I think it's a scandal, frankly. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, I am puzzled with uh, something. Uh, the church defined life begins at, conce at conception. But now, hey, wait a minute. Well, how about death? What does the criteria, I mean, the true definition from the uh, anthropological uh, explanation, what is the definition of death? Well, it's, it, one definition is the loss of integrated unity of the body. But that is, uh, the, the, uh, Schumann points out that the, the organs and tissues of the body interact with each other. Mm -hmm. And so long as they keep interacting and, and like that, they are, the person's alive. When eventually the heart stops, and in a, a matter of minutes, the person is dead. Uh, however, the, um, the uh, 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 turn it off for a second. A person who has got irreversible loss of function of the entire brain, that's the cerebral cortex, cerebellum, and the brainstem, has got serious neurological problems, but mm -hmm. they're not dead. Mm -hmm. the, uh, all these other organs function, and as I said, they, they can give birth to a child months later. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this definition of death, death is inaccurate. It's not true. Uh, once a person dies, uh, it's quite clear they're dead. But by then, the problem is, the organs are not usable. Mm -hmm. So they, they had a new definition of death to suit the, uh, the, uh, the harvesting of organs. Mm -hmm. But it's not true. Mm -hmm. uh, wh how, what do you think, uh, well, how do you see the future uh, with the organ transplantation uh, culture? You know, we, we started with the issue of Life begins at conception, and now the issue of abortion, uh, contraception, euthanasia, and you know it's got and stem cell research, and it keep on going on and on and on. Where do you think it's going to end? Well, the, the whole concept of death, the fact about death is that death takes place over a period of time, and it is quite clear when a person's alive, and it's quite clear when they're dead. But as uh, it has been said, there's a fuzzy area in between during which a process takes place. Mm -hmm. And the exact point where that person dies, where the soul leaves the body, is not known. They don't know. And that's one of the problems they have because you can't take the organ before the soul leaves the body, but you can't tell when the soul leaves the body. Mm -hmm. So they say, well, we stipulate that that's death now. Within so many minutes, you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's false. You can't tell that. Mm -hmm. uh, with regard to the, the uh, question of when life begins, it's completely different. Mm -hmm. It has recently been uh, indicated by one sci scientist that as soon as the sperm 
membrane of the sperm touches the membrane of the uh, oocyte or ovum, that moment, within a fraction of a second, you have a new organism. It takes 24 hours for that organism to, to be the first fully formed cell, but it, the molecules in that ovum, which were doing one job for the ovum, immediately within, within two to three seconds, send out M chemicals mm -hmm. that prevent other sperms from pen penetrating that ovum. So they're right there immediately. Mm -hmm. and, and when that one cell is formed, it has a head end, a lower, a lower end, a right end, a side, a left side, a front side, and back. So you're there from the get-go mm -hmm. as that single cell. Now, it, you, it has programmed into its uh, DNA mm -hmm. that the program that enables it to multiply and differentiate into you as an adult who has a hundred a hundred trillion cells mm -hmm. with billions of cells uh, in the brain and trillions of uh, cellular synapses or junctions in the brain. That's only in that single cell. So nobody should ever say it's just a cell. Mm -hmm. it's un it's the physics of uh, the universe, the, uh, the quantum theory and all that kind of thing is terribly complex. Mm -hmm. But once human life comes along, it becomes far more complex, or even ordinary life, far more complex. And then in human life, you have the added feature of a soul, which is eternal and not... Uh, the father and mother co co cooperate with God in creating the biological end of things, but he makes a direct creation of a soul once that happens. Can we say about death, the disintegration of cells? An irreversible cessation of uh, heartbeat, an irreversible cessation of the brain. I think that the uh, the irreversible function of the heart and respiration uh, leads to uh, the irreversible cessation of the function of the brain. But the brain may cease to function, and the heart and respiration continue, and that enables the body and soul to to uh, to go out, go on being alive. Uh, the, however, the cells do, in the process of dying, uh, the, the cells, uh, some, uh, uh, like the brain cells, are damaged the earliest, and then the, the kidney is prettier in the first few minutes. But some of the cells in the body, and the hair, for instance, can grow for a, some time after that. Some of the cells die before other cells. <laughs> so that uh, it's... Uh, you can be dead before all your cells are dead, that's for sure. You can take corneas, for instance, mm. and they're still alive. Death of the cell and the death of the person are different things. Mm -hmm.